Birds of a feather, we rock together. And if we got a problem, we talk together. So let's head down south, escape the bad weather. Ooh, 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 ooh. The rain came through my treetop and washed away so many things. Things I couldn't learn till I went through. Hey guys, what we have here is a uh, black and speckled uh, king snake in a grade. This is called a Shawnee king snake. I'm down here in southern Illinois. I was gonna head to Snake Road in a second here. This is some of the habitat that I found him in. It's been very, very dry lately. Very dry and hot. It's pretty warm right now. It's about almost 80 degrees, I'd say. And um, I just flipped this guy under a rock near what used to be a pool filled with water. Um, these guys really like uh, wetter areas, I suppose. Um, you don't really find them in dry weather too much, but I just got very lucky. This is my lifer. I've seen DOR ones before. I don't count those as lifers because they're dead, but yeah, this is Lampropeltis nigra or Lampropeltis holbrookii, I believe. Um, uh, it's an integrated between those two, basically a um, crossbreed, I guess, if you want to call it that. But yeah, incredible snake. I've been looking for one of these for a while, and I've never been able to get lucky enough to find one until now. So I am super happy about this. Beautiful individual. Even though it's in shed, it's still super pretty. Super happy to have found this. I'll tell you if I find anything else, but until then, see you later. Hey guys, so I'm right near where I found the king snake, and right here I just bike cruised this rough green snake. I didn't even know they were here, but sorry, the recording just stopped. But yeah, rough green snakes are uh, there's scientific names of Fugri, these Astevis. Uh, they're really fast diurnal snakes. They're really skinny and wiry. They're insectivores. They eat basically only insects. But yeah, super cool. Did not even know they were here. Super pretty one too. I haven't even gotten the snake road yet either. I'm still so happy, but I'll tell you if I find anything else, and until then, see you later. What he's doing right now is um, they have a defense mechanism where they try to camouflage themselves and look like a vine blowing in the wind, so they'll sway their head back and forth like this just to make it seem like they're blowing in the wind like a stick or something, but super cool.
guys, he just found this beautiful timber rattlesnake. This is a yearling about. It only has, I think, one, two, three, four rattles and a button. But yeah, this one is super cool. This is a yearling. It's not very big. It's about one and a half, two feet maybe. But yeah, super cool. We were just about to leave and I spotted him periscoping out of a crevice, but beautiful snake. We're not at Snake Road right now. There's a nice waterfall over there, but super pretty snake. It's got really clean coloration. Hasn't fully uh, matured yet, but yeah, very pretty snake and we're just going to see if we can find anything else. salamander here ambistoma opacum it's got really uh, interesting pattern the bands don't even cross all the way on the back it's got bands on its tail and near its neck but on the back it's like pretty cool looking. nice we're gonna see if we can find anything else We got another uh, Shawnee King snake here. Just flipped him along this bluff. Super pretty one. This one isn't in shed like the other one was, but yeah, super cool find. Super happy to find this guy. Beautiful snake. Right here in this crevice we found um, three raccoons. I don't know where the mom is, but they're kind of small ones. Here's my hand in comparison. Yeah, sub <laughs> Cool. Wait for the out of time, out of time, man. 